okay with the draw they go for a storm so what is this a carry mars okay, so mid lane storm that one is for sure a safe lane doom a off but i think as soon as the level three hits for the phoenix and the clockwork both of them need to have it it's gonna be a problem and there it is the uh, kill does happen in the bottom lane QM is in some trouble as well. Top lane, they're going for Molasses. Uh, if you're a Phoenix player, you know just how much of a difference it is. It is more than double the damage. And really, the level 1 Fire Spirits, they basically heal. Uh, bottom lane, TZ, he just dp to the lane. And we talked about Viper needing to have a good time. Well, he's having a perfect all time. And he uses the Mango. QM is looking very much dead. Yep, with the fourth poison attack. He's going to be dying as well. And this is the started Cobalt we're looking for. He heals himself. He's going to get the Ashes of the Earth set to go his way. And he does not... That greed is not going to show us. As we said, these heroes are greedy in a sense they need the first few items, though. Uh, Doom, we already know that uh, he did have a really bad time last game. And it's gonna uh, transfer into this game as well. Probably feeling a little bit tilted. And now a fiery bird against an icy one. We know we talked about the possibility of the Enchantress maybe pulling the Viper. It did not happen. Top lane. Molasses. Oh, you beautiful Cox is... Uh, Caught with one creep, and look at this, the Cogs and the Fire Spirits combo. He can't eat through the Cogs, he can't do anything. The Doom is dead, and the Ryofly might die as well. They're not going to be using their... Okay, he just came back to the lane, and probably going to die again. The Viper doesn't have that much mana, but they finish off Marvel. Blessing uses the ulti, Scotty doesn't have the mana, but he's still killing QM, and QM died! Ah, oh, man, that feels so bad. That feels so bad, but to be honest, it feels even worse staying on that lane against the Viper. Because that is just not the place that you want to be at. I don't know what the Ursa does. Last game, we saw the TA get absolutely destroyed. But this time around, it's going to be the Ursa Ryofly in a bit of trouble. The first Fire Spirit misses. The second one connects. He needs to connect with more of them. He will freeze himself, but the Winter Viper will most likely die. And you don't want to be there, Doom. You don't want to die as well. He says, yes, I do. Who are you to tell me, Harry Freak, that I don't want to die? I want to burn. Underneath my feet, there's gonna be a scorching earth, and he's looking very much dead. There is gonna be a rocket flare in a second, which means that his life will be taken, and actually, it's gonna be the Phoenix that he's the one that might be uh, needing to deal with the uh, Viper. Uh, Doom. Doom. Is he dead? Yeah, he's very dead. They need to go through the cogs. He needs help to get out of those. But the storm is coming in. The Phoenix does have a dive out. He'll never get a chance to do it. Molasses will get the kill on the Doom. Will he? Yes, he will. Matikan doesn't have that much mana. But he has just enough to finish off this clockwork. And turning into a ball of lightning like the storm. Blessing just uh, shoots it out of his backside. Marvel has the arena. Has to be a little bit careful. That's only... Uh, Battery Assault expiring, so, you know, not gonna be that big of a deal. They use the arena, the Storm Spread. Nice cogs there. She's not gonna be caught on the edge of the arena. Yes, you will. I don't care about your cogs, but he turn around on Marvel, and Marvel will die. Nedekin is coming over. He doesn't have that much mana, so he needs to be a little bit careful. Gonna be going for Molasses, killing himself a little bit with the Urn of Shadows, but pulled into his death. Molasses, can he survive this one? Beautiful hook shot, and with the cogs back, Nedekin has no more mana. Can't easy do anything. He slows him down. They don't have the stun, but Molasses is turning around. He's gonna have the Battery Assault, and this time around. I'm gonna hunt you down. Medican running away. Running away. He will run out because Scotty is there to protect him. And yes, TZ, I did want a bonus. Medican though, can they get him? No, they can't. And TZ is dead. Scotty is godlike. 11 minutes into the game. Guys, I owe... Guy, he's worth money. But then again, he's the most dangerous predator on the map right now. Oh, arena being used, egg being used immediately. There is a hook shot, but the storm comes over and the egg will pop. Those cogs just not placed good enough. Marvel will be the one to get that one. And Marvel now with the cold embrace. Seems like he should be surviving this one. Cold embrace keeping him alive. And Marvel still running away. The clockwork pushed to the low ground. He'll be okay for now, but in the end will die. Marvel will die as well. And Dryofly will be fall cool. Oh. Viper, you might actually be able to kill him with the Whale of Discord. Scotty's gonna start taking a lot of damage. He doesn't have a BKB just yet. And Scotty, will he die? Yes, they're most definitely going for him. Give me those thousand gold coins. The Zeus will take your offering right now. And the uh, 100.
to 1100 really. Not work. He uses the cogs, but he still gets lashed to the edge of the arena. He's gonna get doomed, but the mid hook still a beautiful winter's curse. Even though you're doomed, you will fight to death against your own friend. And Molasses will have to kill his teammate before he goes down. But look at Blessing. He's starting to do a lot of damage. Scotty might be some trouble. This enchantress is untouchable. Well, here comes the storm. He has enough mana. Jump to the side from the suit. He has to stand his ground and fight, but he cannot. He's surrounded by a snake, by a storm spirit. And is there anything he can do to save him? Is there anything they can do to avenge the god of thunder? The answer will be no. Wolf will lose three, claiming it. And go for a BKB. Kyle was his item of choice. He will get silenced up. They're looking to kill him, and they'll be more than successful. Once the Orchid pops, Molasses will get a kill. And then over and over again, this hero was picked for a vision, and the vision is what DZ is providing. Is it his life that is providing the vision? Oh, there's smoke. It isn't even gonna work that well. They go in with the blink. The TP from this use is coming over and they have to bail. The clockwork doesn't have the hookshot. Actually, he does. He's gonna be going forward. It's a level two hookshot. It's not gonna be short. This time around, he gets the silence onto Ryofly. And Ryofly is dead. Scotty has to be KB. Turns around to fight. Clockwork is looking very dead. Scotty takes a lot of damage. He turns around onto the Enchantress and starts pumping in the damage. This use needs to run because the storm is coming over. And make no mistake, he can get on top of you again a six Scotty KB on cooldown he's looking dead right now you gotta get him in where's the silence where's the silence he's not using the silence why are you not using the silence molasses decided to die he decided to just be destroyed by the viper and the viper will go for the enchantress as well medican was there to assist them too completely topping the network chart but just hasn't been having the game of his life uh, easy hello sprites that's a nice spear Unfortunately, not gonna connect. DZ is being super annoying, prancing around, and the Netican doesn't even have any more mana. The Glimmer Cape was used. He's gonna try running away. Now they know they are gonna be going on top of him. Netican doesn't have that much more mana, but he needs one more hit, and there it is. This leaves Scotty alone. Are they gonna be able to go for him? The hook shot into a pushback. Can they do it? Can they at least force out the BKB? But the uh, doom is coming over. Scotty, they're thinking about it. They're thinking about going for him. Nice baits from the uh, Phoenix, but it's gonna be dangerous now. They found the Winter Wyvern. They'll get a nice kill. The what? Egg with the fire spirits hitting multiple heroes. That is the way to win a fight. Ah, oh, no. Blessing, you're looking very dead. And, uh... Blessing will most likely die here. A lot of mana on Etikan, more than enough for him to get on top of Blessing, and they'll get a kill. It's gonna be a little one. But uh, jump in from the storm to get the signs. The heals from the Phoenix are gonna keep him alive. The Ursa will be fine. He turns around to fight. Netikan doesn't have the mana. He might not even have his life. The Ursa uses the range. He finally has his BKB delivered. They use the ulti from this use, but Netikan survives. He's gonna be okay. I think the BKB didn't expire just yet. And Netikan goes TP to the base. Now the smoke is on. They wanna go for the chase. The clockwork has a BKB. That's a big one. Scotty is not a problem for him any longer, but he gets hexed up. What the hell are you doing, clockwork? Use your freaking BKB, but he does and he dies before it and now the Ursa jumps in but immediately doom the Phoenix is trying to save something but let me cool you down the fiery bird gets taken down from that one as well the shard and the Aegis will go into their hands are they in a good enough position the Phoenix thinking about going in he is gonna use the egg and Scotty turns around onto the Phoenix Sun but the Phoenix Sun will most definitely fall on the other part of the map there was the arena used the Phoenix though dies Scotty finishes the top on his own but he's still gonna die this clock we're trying to finish him off no the Viper is still alive finally the rocket flare will get the kill the two of them have fallen and now the storm might be next he has already lost all of his man all of his mana and he is dead though it is only once he's still gonna have enough mana to get himself out he gets the silence onto molasses can they save molasses with a glimmer cape they most definitely can finally there is a there is a sentry ward and now they're trying to finish him off with the beautiful force that they get himself out now the silence onto the storm where's the ursa where's the blink just he wants into the back line he wants the winter wyvern because the winter's curse is a problem but they finished off the doom they finished off the winter wyvern and you are left alone in this world yeah place a ward on the high ground but it's most likely gonna take it away very soon they're thinking about jumping in blink on the doom is ready he has a force staff so phoenix is a perfect hero to jump on and that is such a big mistake beautiful cogs maybe he gets his egg off not gonna be happening he gets hexed up molasses has a bkb but now the buyback from the phoenix and the ulti from the zeus everyone is dying there's going for the winter wyvern he's gonna be stacking those fury sides but now he gets doom immediately removes the uh the overpower as well while well, the storm is in the back line the storm has lost his life but so has molasses and finally they lose the earth it's gonna be a two for two make it scotty 
all alone. He is surrounded by his own vision. But if you go on the clockwork, he can very easily die. He's going to see multiple heroes now come out. It's DZ. I don't know, Scotty. Don't do it. Don't do it. You're going to be in trouble. There are only two here. And the hook shot comes over immediately. Scotty needs to be careful. He doesn't have the blink dagger, but does have a four staff. Will he? Oh, the purge. The four staff will be purged immediately. Molasses comes over, uses the BKB, but he's slowed down anyway. The storm jumps in onto the Phoenix. Can they save the Phoenix? They have to with the curse as well. There will be no save for you. And the Doom comes onto the Ursa. The Phoenix is dead. And the Ursa will follow because he cannot be saved. There's also a refresher on the Doom. Does anyone else want to be deleted from the map? They've caught this use as well. You're not going to be getting out of the arena. You will fight till death. And it will be swift. They know their enemies are there. And the Strosh is dying. He's dying very fast. The Storm jumps in. Uses the BKB. Molasses didn't use his BKB. And he's going to be hexed up. What are you doing? The double spear as well. You need to get the Aegis. And the Ursa does manage to get him. Molasses finally gets the BKB off. Where's the egg? Just use that egg. He didn't do it, but the storm is already dead. He has a buyback. Can come back if he wants to. Molasses has lost his life and Blessing in a really good position to continue spamming out the spells. Marvel, he just bought back and he will go to the land of the dead again. A big fight for Wolf. They don't need even 12 seconds. And Scotty, hello, he's gonna get the hex out. They're going for the Ursa, but he has used his ulti already. Now the egg gets popped and with the bashes, they're not gonna be able to get the egg down. Scotty, don't turn around. They're gonna get the Doom onto the Ursa, but he's still gonna be fine. He actually stands his guard fights. No, this is not looking like a guy that is fine. He does have a buyback, which he's still onto the clockwork. Marvel has been cold embraced. They're still trying to kill him with all of the impetus shots. Marvel will fall. No, he is still alive. That solar release will not be enough. There are no shadows and he doesn't even get the impetus shot. He has been silenced. The poor enchantress he wants to do something. And the phoenix with the dive. He doesn't have the egg. He can't do anything. Dirsa who bought back has to be careful. He could be met with another swift death. If he is not careful, this use has his ulti and the Nimbus in a second. Oh, really, QM? You're gonna jump for that one, and you get hexed up immediately. He has the BKB, he didn't pop it, he's in so much trouble. There's the Enrage, there's the BKB, he needs to use the Toronto. He's gonna be able to bring down Marvel. This Doom in some trouble, but has the Force Staff immediate buyback from Marvel. It's time to go for more, and the ulti, the Winter's Curse is there. Go and kill your Flaming Bird, but that means that you're gonna get burned right now. His claws, they've been burned off. He's not doing anything inside of the Nether Toxin. He'll call GG. He has had enough with this game, and there is nothing he can do because he is in the land of the dead despite having a Zeus on the high ground he says I've had enough and the Zeus will come down to his throne bow down and uh, apologize for not being strong or worthy enough the Morphling can waveform during being ruptured the Puck doesn't really care about the rupture now, that much so Chen cool comes things. out so is it a offlane Chen it is, is it a uh No rubbed me the wrong way in the uh, last series by how bad they played. They've been looking better. Marvel, those are gonna be some really bad shards. He turns around, uses the scatter blast and skill up the cookie level one. Understandable, and he will be going down. They give the kill. I tried to give the kill to Blessing, but Chen says a no. Lost, I think, it was also a puck going up against the Kunkka, but this is a much, much worse. Netika now, he has the bottle as well. He's gonna be securing one, one water rune, maybe even two of them. This puck has to be. Come on, Blessing, do something. He's uh, is half a level behind the Tiny. I guess just getting some farm is fine. Bottom lane, the Snowball was used. Bloodseeker in some trouble. This Tusk, he's used to the cold, but uh, he's not used to sharp blades going for him. Ten stick charges on the Bloodseeker. He's not wanting to use them right now. And he's gonna use the Blood right easy. He's looking very much dead, and he will for sure die. It's gonna be a double creep going for the mana burn creep right now. So Marvel really not gonna be having the mana. Scotty as well. This should be the kill. Blessing dies in the mid lane, but Scotty will die in the top lane. They're trying to finish off the Beast Master. The beasts are chasing the master, but the Chen now is in trouble as well. Marvel gets the kill, shoots the morphing. That's water. It's just gonna go through him. It's not really gonna do anything, Marvel. That is a avalanche connecting means that he won't have enough damage, but it also means that the Seeker will be running around pretty much hasted. Something you want to be fighting against. The Winter Wyvern has the Enchanted Mango plus the Cold Embrace. Not going to be using it. And the Seeker comes in. Molasses is going to have another round of spells fairly soon. And the Seeker needs to heal up. He's in very much trouble. The shards will not connect. And he does get himself out. He heals himself up with the uh, Siege Creep dying. A lot more gold. Like a thousand more. Considering he has 2.5k net worth. Not looking good. Blessing will uh, get avalanched. 
they're just trying to uh, make some damage there so that their Seeker is faster. The Rupture onto the Phoenix, and this is a dead Phoenix. He cannot run away, just one hit will do the trick. Nerican is standing his ground. He has zero armor, actually doesn't have zero, he has ten. But the, the game is not drawing it for some reason. The uppercut punch, though, it might be enough. Very far being used. He wants to live. He gets the toss from the Tusk away. He has one more bottle avalanche in a few seconds. They're gonna have the shards, and with good shards, they'll keep him in place till another avalanche comes out. The puck needs to connect with the orb. Nerican goes to the side. He's still alive. He's joking around the pit. Molasses, he has the snowball. Stop, Tiny. Stop and die. He gets turned into rubble while top lane. Scotty dies as well. QM gets the kill. Marvel will be next. Do they have enough to stop him? Yes, they do. Especially with the walrus punch coming over and QM getting a double kill. He's gonna have four points. Bottom lane. Molasses. And we'll get gone on, but he should be fine. Level 8 Tusk with two bracers really isn't the target for you. He does have the Walrus Punch. It's gonna be used. The uh, Seeker is getting gone on. They have the Snowball, and the Seeker will most likely die. He has the Wand, but it's not gonna be enough to save him. They will use the Cold Embrace. Another shards in a few seconds, but a nice cookie being used. The Phoenix gets done. Not gonna save his buddy, though. DZ gets himself out. Molasses think about going in again, but Real Fly, he takes up the flight and starts putting up the hurt. Much ground if you're Wolf. He uh, coil onto the tiny, he breaks it immediately, and here comes the snowball with Mortimer's kisses from the side. They're trying to defend him, but the damage will be overwhelming. They need the cold embrace, and are they gonna use it? No. Ryo fly, he doesn't even get close to it. He gets fed a cookie this time on the puck, but he should be able to draw to the side and blessing up on the hill. They see him, but there is nothing that you can do about it. He's bleeding super hard, and the Bloodseeker, he's getting super excited because of it. It's amazing that he sees red everywhere, but it's his friend that are actually bleeding and now the morphling is ready to drown this winter viron there's not gonna be blood it works out so it should have the strength of the tiny to do so while mid lane, Winter Wyvern has been caught. Does have the Winter's Curse, might go for it, but gets on stuff, so he won't be able to do it. It's gonna be a kill. The puck enemies are coming. They're literally walking over vision. Avalanche toss onto the Morphling, but he gets the Morph off. He's gonna be getting the stun onto the Tiny. Going in for the damage, not gonna be enough. Marvel did die already, but Morphling now turns into the Winter Wyvern. He's gonna have the range over the entire to the map. And here comes the uh, Beast Master. He's going in. He does have the Aegis looking towards Molasses. Uses the Roar. Molasses taking a lot of damage. He has the Snowball, though. Should be able to survive through this one and can blink out if need be. The egg does come out, but the burn is there. Scotty will die the once and the Winter Wyvern. The only one life is there on him anyways. The buyback from the Winter Wyvern coming over. Nerica taking a lot of damage. Doesn't have the BKB and the avalanche. The stuns. The science is are they gonna be enough? The Phoenix does survive. Scotty thinking about going in. He doesn't have the roar any longer. The rupture onto the puck. He gets himself into the trees. He does have the blink. Gets himself to the side and will be okay. No mana for TP though. And they have found you and they have killed you. It's gonna be the puck dead. A two for two. If you count the Aegis and also the buyback. Oh, you'd still die. Oh, the shot back. They found the Tusk. And we all know that no Tusks are worth a lot. He's gonna get silenced up and with the with the attack speed, they should be able to finish him off. Tusk is actually being healed up, but the proc for the Maelstrom will be enough. They break the call. The sun ray there from the egg is doing so much. Marvel comes over trying to kill the egg and he manages to shoot it down. It was just a half a second before he stops blessing trying to go for a TP out. You're not going everywhere with the attack speed. They'll have more than enough and it's actually gonna be the ogre. Look how the fallen rock. QM. Oh, he should know. He should know that something is up on the top lane though. But as soon as they're going for it, Tusky might feel like he's safe and Nerican will try to kill him in with the DD. Not gonna be enough. He gets stunned up with the depth to strike but on the top lane they lose the Tusk anyways. They get the rupture onto blessing. He's gonna try to get himself out. Will be successful for now. The Blink Dagger onto the high ground, but look at his HP. The Tiny's coming over, they shoot him, and he uses the silence a little. He knows there's no little shredder, but he's still up against the inner beast, and he gets tossed back. The egg will be used, and immediately they'll get rid of it. There's just so much attack speed, the egg is gone. Let's see now. The uh, Seeker going onto the Morphling, one versus one. No one really wants to fight the other, they just spook each other. But Wolf, they're getting themselves out. I have a toss combo. No, he doesn't go for the toss, but he uses the BKB, tosses the puck in the back, and he gets short. That's a dieback. Onto the Draxis. QM, what can you do about the Dismorphling 6 and 1? Pretty much having a perfect game. The toss back, the snowball will save him for now, but they've killed his supports and now they'll kill you. The Mortimer's kisses, though, the Tusk. He's a very cute little guy, like a teddy bear, but he doesn't want to get kissed by the grandma, even though Marvel, this grandma, had her eyes set on the Tusk. He just doesn't fancy her at all. Wolf. 
Yeah, 13k gold deficit in the second looking lane of Raxxon for all of the die. That's the Phoenix called once again. He goes for the Icarus dive, but DZ will survive. He'll be okay for now. The Molten jumps in. He turns into Tiny. The Avalanche will be used. He has the tree on his side. You better use that one and not just keep it in the back. Now he's in some trouble. He's taking so much damage and he's dead with a snowball. Yes, exactly. We do want you in there. He jumps in. He wants to get the kill on the Marvel, but they will get the cold embrace and Molasses. He knows he cannot break the ice and it is gonna be Cobalt winning this game as well with Wolf calling GG understanding that the game is over and there is nothing else that they can do to beat Cobalt in this one they did so well